What's going on with everybody? It is your boy, Eric, a.k.a. Young God, coming to you live in the Pink Dungeon, getting to your real, real rugged. And I'm back in here with a album review. I haven't reviewed an album in a very long time. I'm sorry. There's been a lot of stuff going on. Just been busy with school. That's really what it is. School has been kicking your boy behind. But I do want to get back in the groove. And honestly, I said, what is the, like, I don't think another album is better to put me back in that album reviewing track. Then this El Custo album. I've been excited for this album. El Custo and his other rapper named Moschino are my two favorite, like, newer rappers. Like, they give me something to be excited about. I feel like in hip-hop, it isn't a lot of excitement. That's why you hear a lot of people say, I don't even listen to new music. I listen to old music. Because these young niggas ain't exciting, bruh. You feel me, dog? I watched Battle Rap. It's a nigga named T-Rex. He said, I escaped four reason, five indictments. I'm exciting. What? That nigga say he excited. I'm, I'm assuming street niggas, they hear that, they be like, that nigga escaped four reason, five indictments. This, what this nigga, this nigga, the Vince called the street niggas. You know what I'm saying, bro? That's the equivalent of leaving your arm in the rim. That's how I feel about El Custo, bro. When I listen to El Custo, I get excited. Nig these young niggas don't get me. I feel like Lamar Odom. <laughs> or no, I feel like, um, what it was, Kevin Garnett or whoever he said, when Lamar Odom said, uh, he said, like, his rookie, he was dunking on niggas, like, everybody was dunking on the team. And I think KG said, ooh, these young niggas making my dick hard. <laughs> hey, bro, these young niggas here, bro, these niggas in booty juice. They doing everything that the next nigga doing. Don't nobody want to be original. Bro, who gonna be dunking from the half court line, bro? Ain't nobody dunking from the free throw line. Ain't nobody doing that. That's why when I held Kusto, I'm like, well, this young nigga got something going on. You hear me? So I was excited to do this album review. And uh, spoiler alert, this is one of my favorite rap albums of the year. We're gonna get right into it, man. This is that Mercy Non Mercy brought to you by a little bit of Pizza Hut. Let's get into it. And before I get into this, I do want to shout out the producers on this album. I had to write their name down so I really see this. I ain't want to mess it up at all. Uh, I think they produced the bulk of the album. You got Coco Custo. Coco kick a beast up in a bit. Him. Um, produced by 12 AM and uh, Mark Riviera. Those three producers, they put their foot. I think Mark Riviera is on this. I could be wrong. But <laughs> I know the first two. You know what I'm saying? But I, these, but these brothers put their foot on or in these beats. It was like the episode of uh, Proud Family where Grandmama uh, where, uh, Sugar Mama put her foot in the cookie. They were like, man, what you put your foot in the cookie? She like, I actually did. And they thought you were playing. Nah, they actually put their foot in these beats. Starting off with the intro, Joe Black. Um, very, I feel like calm, you know what I'm saying? It's like the calm before the storm because the rest, because like after this, it just started hitting you in the face. So if somebody listen to this, I can see somebody being like, okay, this cool, this cool, this cool. I like this intro, but it sets you up for that new red. Oh my gosh, bro. The way he come in, if I don't get signed in, nigga and right <laughs> in the back of suburban and that, and that, you know what I'm saying? I love the way his energy just come in, bro. What that boy say, this shit more controversial than biracial couples. <laughs> I'm trying to get to a whole lot of money. Like, bro, the way that he just come in with his energy, new red, that beat is fire. Absolutely love this. And then we go to Red Lines, which might be my favorite beat on here just because, oh, my gosh, it's like a Los beat. Los from uh, Detroit. That's what this slide to me, and I love Los type beats. This is so, 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 so hard, man. My favorite part is when we say, we say, Nick called me on the phone, time out, niggas trying to kill me. Summertime, hot outside, tank top on, shaking says. <laughs> Hey man, what up, boy? Say, uh, hey man, man, I'm running up that money, but I'm telling you, you know what I'm saying? What up, boy? Say, I'm a high ruler, uh, a high ruler. I love the way he does his vocal inflections, low key. I can see the similarity between his voice and honestly, somebody like Cardi voice. I feel like they have very similar voices. Cardi, like he sound like Cardi if Cardi was uh, identified himself as a jank ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if y'all know about them them DC D of V niggas, but they all like Maryland niggas. They all call themselves jank ass niggas. You know, <laughs> like they proud terrible human beings. There's no difference than niggas saying that they that that they slimes or they snakes or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like that's that that's they version. Version of that, I'm a jank ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? Nigga sound like Cardi if he was a if Cardi was a jank ass nigga. 
but I like the way he utilized his voice actually much better than Cardi because he can do like he has like a very deep voice, but then he can go with the this shit, my kind of version about racial couples. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Need, how rule? I'm a how rule? You know what I'm saying? Hundred thousand? Nah, rule. Hey, what up? Was it fifty thousand? Nah, you old rule. Hey, that's that. That's that. No, that's actually not the next song. But let's let's skip to that real quick. So I'm singing that. That's that Camel Socks. So fire that beat, nigga. This is. 70 and a 35 at nighttime hanging out the sunroof type music. I hate to say this. I don't know why <laughs> I keep saying it because I keep saying I hate that I say it, but I keep saying it. This that Henry Ruggs music right here, bro. This is, you know, I always say, bro, what was Henry Ruggs listening to to make that nigga drive that fast? This song went out, but if it was, that nigga would have been listening to that 50,000. What that boy say? No, really. Got that 100,000. Now she all over me. <laughs> Bro, that beat, bro. Oh my gosh, bro. That is that is 50 beyond the speed limit type of music. Oh my gosh, that camo sock so hard, bro. That boom, 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 boom. That junk is crazy, man. But the song I skipped over is a song that most people know that don't even know who Mr. El Custo is. That's that Words to Live by featuring Earl. This was song, this is a song that went viral on Twitter because of the Earl verse. A lot of people don't even know this is an El Custo song. And that sucks because El Custo came in talking on here, bruh. I'm a killer man. I'm in San Francisco in a minivan. You know what I'm saying? The way he was talking on here, I love that. What that boy say? I got my hands on the fob with my mind on the road. He was talking on this. And then Earl come in with so many quotable, bro. What that boy say? I'm not okay, but I'm gonna be all right. Oh, that boy say he put, he say he said uh what he say he said I put on some weight like a lineman I'm in a bay like a raider of nine and that boy was talking man what that nigga say that nigga said uh and what he say he say he say he say he put on what that boy say that nigga say I, I feel the four five six inch in my palm they think I loaded the shit out the dice man I love the, I love the barber for that what that boy say uh he sunk it he sunk the eight he sunk the eight ball in the uh, in the, in the pocket what that boy say man nigga I put I put some spin on the white. Crazy dog. Then the bar about the Wizard of Oz and the tight and and, and and the lion, nigga. I know you're missing some stripes. Free Gaza. We on the corner like Israelites. Oh my gosh, bro. Nigga was talking on this song, man. Such a fire song. And then we skip back to Kebo Sox and go over that and go to Arrival Departure. Um, he was really rapping on here. Like, if you really listen to this song, bro was really, bro really took his time out to like rap on this song. Very luxury type of song. I think this is a song where he was talking about, um, you know what I'm saying? The, the, the I, I picked out of two it in all my service, you know what I'm saying? 20%. <laughs> hey, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I think it was the part where he was talking about paying the valet, they part, you know what I'm saying, a part the car. He was really talking some high luxury, really good rapid stuff right here. Rival Departure was really, really good. Uh, then we go to track number seven, which is, I can't read my handwriting, Temper Tantrum. Um, this is five. What that boy say? I'm too cool for the gut. I'm too cool for the hoop. I'm too cool for the gut. I too cool for the who like that like him and Cardi their vocal just their vocal te not texture their vocal uh their the way they sound is similar like the way they talk is similar like I said just one identify as a jank ass nigga then the one identify as a. Uh, I don't know, like a a, a, a sassy gam a sassy gam a sassy vampire. I don't know what the hell that nigga identify as. But both of them have very similar voices, and I think that's a really interesting uh, but fire fire song. Then prostitution. That beat is so smooth, bro. What that boy say, man? I won't give a bit my number. I give it Instagram. <laughs> you feel me, bro? That 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 play another slow jam. That is so so fire. The way they flip that is so so hard, man. Absolutely love this song. Um, like I said, these beats on here are so so hard, bro. I won't give a bit my number. I give Instagram. And, and, hey. Play another slow jam. Play another slow jam. That's such. Play another slow jam. The boy with jamming on that. Hey, fire, man. Um, did we go to satisfied? satisfaction uh, a lot of you feel me a lot of words here. you know what i'm saying that boy putting the worst stuff for these titles but uh but no nice little song it's a nice little switch of gears right here um from 
He's already doing like a slower pace, but now he's like singing a little bit more than he's rapping on this. I thought this was a nice little song. Um, then we go to Ballad of France. Another one where I can say, bro, dog, this might be one of my favorite beats on here. This beat is so, so hard, bro. You feel me? I need to call somebody that. Boom, 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 boom. Hey. Boom, 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 boom. That beat is so hard that. Beat is that sample is hard. Absolutely love this beat, bro. I need to call somebody. You know, I like the way he started off. We can talk about our feelings of what do you say? We can talk about we can talk about feelings over slow beats. Oh, what do you say? We can talk about <laughs> I can't even do it. We can talk <laughs> we can talk about our feelings over bass lines. You know what I'm saying? The way he come in just so smooth, bro. He really a smooth ass nigga the way he kick his stuff, bro. Absolutely love that. Then we go to another R&B sample with the 85 South, man. Absolutely love that, man. Got a gallon when that kind of, you know what I'm saying? The way, like I said, he's super smooth and his beats fit him perfectly or match him perfectly with the smoothness approach that he takes with a lot of these songs. Fire song. Um, then we go to British Liaison. Um, I thought this was a nice little song right here. I didn't have too, too much to say about it, but I did enjoy this. But then we go to Skinny Jeans and Gucci Belt, which is another, another fire beat, bro. All of these beats are so hard, man. It's that she used to have a hair, she used to have a hair so well, he she used to have a hair, so it not as long. She used to have it, and 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 she used to have a hair, so it not as long. She used to and 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 That's that fault right there, bro. Absolutely love his approach in here because now he, like I said, he's doing a little bit more singing on that right there. But I love that. Um, then we go to dialect the manners. This beat sounded like a West Coast beat. West Coast beat meets like a '90s like funk. Um, Memphis type of beat, so I love that just like kind of clash of styles, but it worked perfectly. Another, another really good song. Then we go to 5 a.m. NH beat, uh, super duper hard, bro. You know what I'm saying, dog? This that, uh, you hit me, babe, you hit me, pimp, you hit me, babe, you hit me, pimp, you hit me, babe, you hit me, pimp. That, part, that nigga low key sound like Cat Woods on there, bitch. So I can finna tell the whole boy, you gotta, you have an unnatural allegiance to losers. You know what I'm saying? That boy sounded like he was finna hit me with that pimpin', pimpin', pimpin'. <laughs> you hit me, babe, you hit me, pimp. Yeah, hey, my vibe. Yeah, hey, my vibe. <laughs> hey, I thought that boy finna go on club. Shay Shay after he dropped that bit. Fire song, man. Yeah, hey, my vibe. Yeah, hey, my pimp. Yeah, hey, my vibe. Yeah, hey, my pimp. <laughs> Fire, dog. And then we go to talk to that. Kuso talk to that. Nigga, Kuso talk to that. Kuso talk this girl everything. <laughs> nigga, you know how a girl be saying daddy, daddy, but nigga, Kuso got down really hurt. This girl, father, bro. This nigga talk how to read and write, bro. This song, whoever this song is about, you know what I'm saying? Nigga, this nigga made this song about my old lady, nigga. I be like, but hey, calm your ass down, nigga, but nigga. I taught her something too, you hear me, but nigga. I taught her how to put on the body. I, I had to create something up, but this nigga done taught this girl everything, man. Um, But I like the fast pace. Um, I guess the tempo of this Kusa ta -da -da, like he speeds up his voice and the beat. It's like a like a four five four type of thing going on. Um, but yeah, it's a good song. And then we end it with Brown Paper Bag featuring Mike. Mike always comes through. Uh the nigga said he treating the money like Monopoly Bucks. Thought that was fire. But Kusto, when he came on, it's that part where he talk about running his acrylic through her hair that nigga lost his mind oh my god like boy, boy, who this nigga who did nigga trying to bruise on to that nigga start rapping crazy on that part such a good outro such a good song if you guys have not heard this please listen to it i've absolutely loved this album um and yeah like i said i'm gonna try to get back on track doing my album review so y'all listen to my boy coos uh, until next time, I, I just get a nigga. I don't even know niggas call that boy Coos. I tried that like we were cool. You know what I'm saying? I tried to, I tried to, you know what I'm saying? You know, you're showing your homeboy name, you feel me? I tried to get that boy. Nigga don't even probably call that boy Lil Coos, but you know what I'm saying, man? Salute Lil Coos, dog. Until next time, I say what I mean. I mean what I say. Haters gonna hate, players gonna play. Ah, man, y'all holla at your boy now, man.